welcome to a new vlog so i'm so excited because we are doing my roots and i know you guys have been waiting for this vlog so I'm not gonna ramble too much in the intro but i'm going to set up my tripod and i'll show you guys all the stuff that we use we're doing it inside today so that's a change shiri hi look at this lighting though oh, lighting we're doing though. it in this bathroom and as you can see, Mother's got new lights and they're like cool tones, so everything's gonna be perfect. We're doing it inside because it's going to get dark pretty soon. So um, yeah, I just need to get this on the tripod and then we are going to brush out my hair and stuff. Is this all the bleach we have? No, we have more. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's oh, just in my amazing. closet. We are using foils today because, um, okay, so I wanted to address this in my vlog, but as you guys can see, this part of my hair is like really really weak and we're doing we're using foils because as you guys know when you bleach your hair you like put the bleach and then you lap it over every time that laps over it touches you know what I'm saying so it makes sense to not like over bleach slash over process with foil so your hair is not touching one another so we're challenging Sherry to this, and we are going to get this show on the road. Also, the time lapse is gonna be great because my camera is on the correct settings. So now I'm gonna go get my brush and brush out my hair. We're using Quick Blue Bleach. We also have 30 volume developer. We have 20 volume developer with T. Wella 18 toner. We have foils, which is new to our layout. We have a mixing bowl that brush clips everything like that um i think oh non-latex gloves for mother yep. don't forget your gloves sherry oh. and i'm not wearing any pants right now <laughs> tmi i know um and an extra camera battery and brush because like i said i need to brush this baby on out okay, so, so let's get this mixed up and then you brush your hair while i'm mixing yes Start the time off now. Okay, so this is what my hair currently looks like. So the goal was met. I don't have any overlappage, I don't believe, and my hair is gonna process like this. I'm gonna leave it on still for like 40-ish minutes, but this is just a new technique I'm trying because I try not to incur a lot more breakage than last time and to have like not as much bleach on bleach, you know what I mean? So anyway, mother was super stressed during the whole thing. I'm sorry. I was. She was like literally, oh, yeah, yeah so she's done. So I think I'm gonna put this bag on my head to just like keep in the heat. You know, I don't wanna put a hair dryer to it because I think that's just like too strong and I don't wanna like literally kill my hair, so. No heat, but it's gonna be in this bag, so yeah. So we are about halfway there with the hair, and um, yeah, this is what it looks like right now. I just, like I said, I put this in my hair, so um, the heat will stay in there because I'm not going to put the hair dryer on it because I'm too scared. Also, this bleach said not to use metal tools, which these foils are metal, but I mean, it's not like a tool, like it's not like a clip or, I don't know, so I'm praying for the best. You guys probably think I'm like dumb, but also I just wanted to chat with you guys because a lot of people that come to my channel are from my hair videos, so I want to know from you guys, where are you guys from? I'm really excited to get to know you guys. Don't forget to check out my social media because I'm trying to have a really good Instagram theme and I follow back on all my social media, so yeah self promo follow me and i'll follow you back i'd love to get to know you guys and i am thankful for you guys who watch this video if you guys made it this far and we're waiting for the results now so i am just loving this lighting guys can we take a moment it's not even daylight it is currently 6 20. i have 18 more minutes i don't know if i said this but my head is stinging because i washed my hair on wednesday 
and that's not a long time because it actually is Friday right now so I've only had one day that I haven't washed my hair so it is kind of stinging I did use a 30 volume developer I'm gonna stop rambling now because you guys probably just want to see the results so let's go yes we are going to take this down Ooh, I'm like super orange Ugh. no I hope not either <laughs> my mom said I hope not your hair when I said I it's so orange but we're gonna see how this turned out, guys. I'm trying to get this tripod thing on. Valerie, you haven't been in the vlog today? Well, actually, this is a hair vlog, so. Hello. There's one mother Hello. and the other mother somewhere else. If you guys didn't know, I have two gay moms and uh, welcome to the channel. <laughs> They're in my vlogs a lot. <laughs> Sherry, my head's a little burning. <laughs> We need to get towels. Oh, I didn't bring any in. Oh wait, I don't think that was recording. Oh jeez. <laughs> And the grand reveal, it looks kind of like how it did last time. I think it was actually a little oranger last time. But overall, it looks pretty much the same. And Sherry said we did wait too long to do it, but like our schedules like just didn't really let us do it. This is what we're working with. Um, we need to tone it so it won't be as bright orange, but it's all right. We're gonna eat dinner and then we're gonna tone so it can have a little break. Sherry, mm -hmm. thoughts? Yep. It's no, pretty it's much the same. Yeah. But I think I lost less hair because of the foils. So I think that goal was good. Okay. I don't know. Sherry's just kind of negative when it comes to this. She just gets stressed out. Okay, so we've kind of concluded. Or maybe it's because this is so white. Maybe. Okay, but so. It's almost like the orange didn't change colors. It's like the black went orange and the orange stayed orange. Which is okay. I mean, it may. Well, then again, it makes it less harsh. Okay, anyway, we are going to tone this baby now and let's see how it turns out. I'm not going to do a time lapse because I kind of stopped doing time lapses when we do the toner. I think I'm going to do an Olaplex treatment too tonight because it's been through the ringer. So this is one and a half ounces. <coughs> okay. So I have the bleach, I have the bleach, no. I have the toner in my head. I think I didn't lose as much hair as I did last time, which is amazing. Uh, I just had a few hairballs come out, but you know, that's gonna happen. Um, anyway, I just wanna give you the update. I leave this on for 25 minutes, then Sherry rinses it out, and then what I do is I put my Olaplex number three treatment, because you're supposed to do that after you bleach and tone and everything, and then I'm gonna use Valerie's special shampoo that makes my hair always look good, which has like a lot of keratin in it, so that is what I'm gonna do. And also she has the conditioner to go with that, so it's all like sulfate-free, paraben-free, really like healthy it makes your hair a lot stronger so i'm glad i used that it is time to rinse this out all righty sherry you ready and the grand reveal Oh, yeah. oh yes, Sherry! That's Not good. bad at all. Yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. I need to get it washed because I don't want to sleep with it wet either. It looks a lot natural. It looks like a natural blonde faded into. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. I was so scared and I look bald right now, but like trust me guys, I am not bald. I am going to throw some Olaplex on it and then I'm going to wash it and condition it like I just told you guys. And then I'll come back on here and show you what the final look is when we dry it and everything because I don't want to sleep with it. It's like currently like 924. We did a pretty darn good job, Sherry. Good. With some stress. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I mean, yeah. there's a couple spots I'm sure are still darker. But it's just like a darker blonde underneath. Yeah. So it's and not a like orangey here and there, but you know. It's not as worse happens. as last time. If you guys watch last vlog, hair vlog, which I have a playlist, so I'll link it down below. 
Please be gentle, mother. Sherry, it actually looks really good. It just looks like an ash blonde. I don't think she can hear me. So if you're wondering what Olaplex I use, I get it on Amazon. And I know some people are like, don't buy on Amazon because it's sketchy. But like, this hasn't done anything to my hair. And it's actually like, kind of helped my hair. So it's the Olaplex number three. I'm doing the old beauty guru hack thing that takes forever. This is what I use. It looks like this, if you guys are curious. I did a video on it, but I always use this after I actually bleach my hair and it hasn't harmed my hair. Sherry, yeah. I was gonna say, it looks really nice. Like it's an ash blonde. Yeah. Like in this lighting, it it's good. like yeah. ash. It's yeah. not like platinum. Right. It actually kind of fades into gray because of the toner, but the, it'll wear out. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, yeah, so this is what I use. And then for shampoo and conditioner, these things are amazing. And I'm gonna talk about this in my February favorites, but um, it's called Karenique. I think that's what it's called. Scalp Stimulating Shampoo and Conditioner. This is what they look like. So this is what it looks like. This is what the shampoo looks like, and this is what the conditioner looks like. And I'm not gonna go into full detail about this product because I'm gonna talk about it either in a hair care routine video or I'm going to talk about it in my February favorites. I don't know yet. Everyone wants me to make a hair care routine because they say my hair looks healthy. Guys, I can guarantee you my hair is not healthy. Um, healthy. Thanks, mother! Oh, my mom thinks it looks healthy, but it's not healthy. Yeah, these three products right here is basically what I use. I don't use this on a daily basis yet because I'm actually trying to finish out this Aveeno shampoo and conditioner. I use this shampoo and conditioner duo for years. And when I say years, since like junior year of high school, I believe, it's called Pure Renewal Aveeno Sulfate Free. And I definitely highly recommend these for just like every day, anyone can use them. They're good on all hair types. I love these things so much but currently like the other shampoo has more keratin I think and I just agree with it more and my hair likes it more. <laughs> if you guys were wondering, that is what I'm gonna be talking about in a future video probably, but right now I'm just blabbing to you because I know a lot of people watch my hair videos and um, as an informative thing, I wanted to share what I've been using on my hair. Um, not a lot, I'm pretty lazy with my hair. It shows in the hair a little bit, but I mean, when it's dry and looking good, I mean, no one can tell, so <laughs> that is basically it. Okay guys, so here is my hair. It looks amazing and I am really happy with it. It blends really well and everything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it blends really well. It um, is really weak around the, like the front of my face. But I mean, I'm not gonna complain too much. It's still a little damp too. So like, I mean, I still have to give it time. The ends basically look exactly the same. But um, overall, overall guys, like my hair has not looked this good. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that right now. I can't be more happy with my hair. And I thank you guys for your positive and negative comments about my hair. I love my hair. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this hair journey and watching this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post every day and I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. And I will see you guys. Oh, leave a comment down below because I like reading the comments. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.